everyone! Would you believe it? We've got another all sound for spelling this week. Our third week of all. And last week our all sound was spelled A-L. But this week and our last all sound is spelt E-L. So just like the last two weeks, can everybody get their magic spelling fingers ready? And can you write it in the air with me? And I'm going to write it in my joined up writing. Ready? All. All. And can you write it on your hand? All. And can you write it on the wall? All. And we didn't say it with me, did we? So can you say it with me? All. All. Right, so I've already got some spellings on my board, written on my board here. I'm going to turn this way. Um, and we're going to have a little look at these. So can you say them with me? And I think most of them are two syllables long. So we've got camel, camel, travel, travel, towel, towel. One syllable, towel, squirrel. Squirrel and tunnel, tunnel. Now we've got two more hiding over here, and you might guess these might be our exceptions to the rule when we look at the rule in a minute. Model, model, and label, label. So here are our spellings. So to look at our E L, this is our word ending. So we've got E L, U, the sound U at the end of each of these words. And all, the E-L, all, is not used very much. All, L-E, all, is used the most. And A-L, all, is used quite a lot. But there are lots of other E-L, alls used as well. So, there's a bit of a a bit of a sneaky rule with this one, and it's to do with the consonant that comes just before the word ending. So if we look at the consonants we've got here, we've got an M, we've got a V, we've got a W, we've got an R, we've got two R's there, and we've got two N's there. So I'm going to write those down. Uh, we've got, and I'm going to write those in a in a weird order. You'll see in a second why. So we've got um, an M, an N. I'm going to do them capitals. Why not? Easier with chalk. Uh, an R, and then uh, a V and a W. So if your word. Um, before the word ending, has one of these letters, M, N, R, V, or W, it's usually E, L. But as always, there's exceptions to the rule. So if we look at model and label, there's a D here and a B here. So those don't fit our rule. And I'm sure you could find lots more. So have a go, practice these spellings and see if you can find any more in your reading books. You could also, little challenge this week, I'll be so super impressed if you can, can you use these five words that I put up here and make a little story? So just looking at them, I think your characters are going to be a camel and a squirrel. You're going to have to go on some type of adventure, um, hopefully somewhere hot and sunny with a beach. Um, and then on our blog where I posted these spellings, um, there's a link with a video that goes with it to try and help you remember the rule. So this is why I wrote uh, these letters in this order. And it's a bit of a silly video. Uh, and it's a nun and she's singing a song to help you remember these letters. So you'll have to go to the blog and check it out to see what I mean. But I am just gonna sing and play the first little bit of the video and then hopefully you can go and check out um, and then it will make sense what I'm on about. So to remember, M, N, R, V, and W. There's a nun in the video and she's singing, most nuns run very well. And this is the start of the video. Most nuns run very well. Most nuns run very well. So 
there we go. Um, please go and check out the rest of the video. Have a little go, practice your spellings. It will make a difference and hopefully you can spot some of those in your reading books. Good luck everyone, see you next week.